I often get asked how to create the custom branded YouTube thumbnail covers that I have and how do I do it? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to create custom branded YouTube thumbnails that will increase your views, increase your subscribers, as well as your conversion. Welcome back. In this video, we are talking about how to create your own custom branded YouTube thumbnail covers. And I get a lot of questions asked every single time I upload a new video. Everyone always talks about my thumbnails, how they're always so consistent, they're so vibrant, they're always the same, and they're consistent, and people really love them. And it's very, very attractive to them, and which helps to increase your conversion rate. So, I'm gonna be showing you exactly how to create custom branded YouTube thumbnails. Even if you have no graphic designer, you are absolutely not creative and without using Photoshop. I'm gonna show you two tools and one really secret weapon that everyone should be using who does not have Photoshop should be using this one secret tool. I'll show you how creating custom branded YouTube thumbnails will help to give you a very distinct look and a distinct brand that is easily recognizable across all your videos to give you a distinct brand across all of your videos that's easily recognizable and increases your views, increases your subscribers, and definitely increases your conversion. But before I get into the tools that explain or how to create these amazing thumbnails, I want you to make sure that you keep in mind that there are four key elements that every single thumbnail must have that I've learned myself from none other than vidIQ. I absolutely love vidIQ. Another one is TubeBuddy, but I feel like vidIQ channel really does a great job at dissecting someone's channel, their thumbnails, their cover art. I mean, it really goes into detail so that you can actually learn from this, take those tips and take that advice and really increase your opportunity to get some traction on your channel and really grow your channel. I was actually featured in one of the vidIQ critiques and they were able to critique my channel and I got so much great information the first time from a one-on-one -on -one critique that when I got featured the second time I was actually selected from all of the channels that were selected, I was the one chosen where they said it was more likely to succeed on YouTube based on everything that they saw. So that was kind of cool, I have to admit. So these are the four key elements that they share that are so important in creating amazing uh, branded YouTube thumbnails. The number one is what they call rainbow vomit. I know, it sounds weird. It's not like a little unicorn vomiting rainbow over here, but what they mean by rainbow vomit, and I'm gonna show you a little uh, clip of my own personal plate videos. And if you notice, they're very, colorful. Uh, rainbow vomit doesn't have to have a negative tone. It just means that there is a lot of color. There is a lot of consistency in the color. The colors are bright, engaging, captivating, eye-catching, mesmerizing. So think of rainbow vomit as those kinds of descriptive words where your thumbnails um, yes, they are very colorful, but they are very captivating. So make sure that they look very bright because studies have shown that the brighter and the more colorful your thumbnails are, that the more it increases your conversion rate. All right, the second thing is to make sure that your font is absolutely legible. There's a lot of people and the groups that I belong in, like the YouTube for females, YouTube women, YouTube Houston, Houston YouTubers, Vid Houston, like Vid everything, I don't know, all of these Facebook groups that I'm in. And the one consistent thing that I see across the board is fonts. Like they mess it up in the fonts. They wanna get really cool. And remember, what you see on your screen, if you have a big screen laptop or a big screen desktop, what you will see on your screen is not necessarily gonna translate in mobile. You've gotta make sure that you're creating legible font, big, nice, round, like bold sans. So this just happened. 
I actually didn't realize that my battery went dead for my camera, so I had to redo it all over again. However, I forgot to press the record button, so when I decided to transfer everything over, I realized that I had not recorded that last bit. But we were talking about fonts, legible fonts. We talked about also number one being rainbow vomit. Number two, let's finish that off. Again, clear legible fonts so that you can see them through mobile. Number three will be not too wordy. Please make sure that you do not put way too many words on your thumbnails. You wanna keep your thumbnails really nice and short. Make it to where you're just using the keywords on your thumbnails if you are actually gonna use words at all. VidIQ usually recommends that you don't, that you kind of use your thumbnail as a teaser and no words are necessary. However, I tend to use both, a little bit of the teaser in my image, but I love to use my keywords in my thumbnails. Number four is consistency. Make sure that your thumbnails look the same, feel the same, have the same colors, have the same fonts, have the same rainbow vomit over and over and over again so that your brand can become very strong on YouTube and people can easily recognize your videos from the rest. Hi guys, so now that we are switching over to my laptop, I wanna start with the secret here. And the secret is remove.bg. Really great website. And if you do not have Photoshop, this is pretty much the best way to remove the background away from any one of your still images from your YouTube thumbnails. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how this works. I'm gonna upload a image that I saved on my desktop and this image right here. This was, was from one of my videos earlier that I batch produced. I decided to save this particular picture on my desktop just to show you how. And now that you see here, I mean, great little area here. I mean, you might get a little some issues with it, but for the most part, they end up being pretty clean. So I'm gonna go ahead and download it like I did. Now I'm gonna show you one of my favorite tools. It's called VisMe. I have been using VisMe for a few months now. They extended it to me so that I can use it and share it with you guys. I love VisMe. I prefer VisMe over Canva any day. And the reason why is because every time that I am online, whether it's on Instagram, Facebook, doesn't matter what social media platform, even Pinterest, I see the same Canva templates over and over and over again. And the only difference is, is that people add their logos, they change the colors, they may or may not change the fonts, but with VisMe, I don't have to worry about these templates. So make sure that, you know, when you log in, this is what the dashboard looks like. I'm always gonna get this stuff going on, even though um, they have actually sponsored me. This is a wonderful brand. Again, I am not paying for VisMe right now. I actually do not get any type of commission. I don't get anything. If you sign up for VisMe, I get nothing. So I love this product wholeheartedly and been, have been using it quite a bit to create a lot of uh, stuff. So we're gonna go to Create. I love the fact that when you go to Create, I'm gonna hit Social Graphics. I'm gonna hit the YouTube channels and video covers. I'm gonna select YouTube video covers and it's immediately going to give me um, the template. I can easily click on just the blank template or I can actually look through some of these and see which one I want to choose and tailor it to my own. I decided to use this for this tutorial so when we go and open this up I've already started a little bit here so I want to make sure that you understand that as I said before make sure rainbow vomit make sure that you your fonts are very clear and legible. There's not too many words. So if I go into this template here and it opens up a new template for me, I'm gonna notice that this little area right here where it says entrepreneur guide, it's just too small for me. This, 
dark image and this background is not going to increase my conversion rate. Therefore, I decided to use a glitter background, which is something that you guys are so used to seeing on my channel. And I'm literally just going to go ahead and reposition this and drag it all out and that's it, we're done completely done. And then this is where I would use that file that I want to upload from, from remove BG. I'm going to go to downloads, grab that preview. I'm going to open that up. Um, it didn't quite do exactly what I wanted it to do, but we can hide it through the words. We can do things to get this just right. So I'm going to want to maybe make it slightly bigger there. There you go. Now it pretty much looks just like my other ones. Uh, I'm going to go here, unclick this guy, and I'm going to drag these two guys right here. And I'm going to arrange this, bring it forward. I want to send this guy to the back. So it helps to kind of hide some of this. And I think I kind of like this business right here. I'm gonna go back and drag this back up. Make sure that I arrange it and bring it forward. There it is. And done. Like this looks perfect. I'm done. It looks really well done. Um, this is, again, really simple tutorial, and just to show you how VisMe has a lot of diversity when it comes to graphics, photo, you can add charts, pies graphs, the theme colors, you can even select theme colors. Again, this is just a quick illustration of what VisMe does. Now, when we're going to Canva, Canva, again, you can go to Create Design, and then you can do custom dimensions and you can do the 1920 by 1080 or I'm going to go over to create thumbnail and I've already created a thumbnail. Remember I talked about clear legible font. Make sure that the font is legible. This is very consistent with what I already kind of do through Photoshop for my particular thumbnails where I do have um, that background shadow effect with a little bit of color and then the dark. I added an element here of the YouTube sign and then now same thing we're going to upload the same thing that bg.bg the remove.bg image and once it's there I'm going to click on it because I'm going to add it to that and again, it's gonna look very similar to what I currently do. Super easy, and I hope that you find these easy to use, whether you prefer Canva or whether you prefer to use Vizme. But I hope that you guys found this super easy so that you can create custom branded thumbnails for yourself. All right, everyone, let me know what you thought about these amazing two tools to create custom branded thumbnail covers for your YouTube videos. Let me know which one you prefer, whether you're going to try out VisMe or you're going to stick to Canva. Let me know which one you like. And if you've tried them both, leave me in the comments. Let me know that you tried them both. Let me know if remove.bg is really helping you to create custom and branded YouTube thumbnails. Make sure to like and subscribe and don't forget to turn on your notification bells because every single Thursday I release a brand new video that talks about how to DIY your marketing for your business if you are a business owner that can't afford to hire an agency yet. So I teach you all the tricks and tips to DIY your marketing. Como siempre mi gente, Besitos a todos y nos vemos la próxima semana.